Hello and welcome to my Unity game development log number one. The game, which so far doesn't have a name, is basically just going to be about driving around in a tank world, you know, with sort of cartoony physics um, and sort of blowing up other tanks sort of like with machine guns and guns and it's sort of just going to be a cartoony game really, which is just aimed at being fun. So one of your main opponents is going to be these AI Tiger Tanks here. And of course this is a multiplayer game, there will be other players to shoot at, but at least for the purpose of getting a player off the ground, these are simple enemies. So for example here you can see two Tiger Tanks fighting, and you can see how the bullets track to the target, because this isn't meant to be a realistic game, rather a fun one, and you know, generally they selected a target, drove up to each other and shot each other. And of course there are still some bugs with the AI Tiger Tanks, for example as you can see this one in front of me is driving around on its nose and it will still turn its turret and try and fire and attack things which doesn't look great. And also like this one here you can get tanks that are upside down which some of them can even drive normally and shoot while upside down which doesn't look great but these are all teething troubles which I'll be looking to fix in the next update. So the first thing I'm going to work on today is these Tiger Tanks travelling sideways. If you can see the back tank with the red bar above it, it travels sideways as it finds a new target and then gradually turns. So I'm trying to get the tank to turn and then move towards the target. So after about half an hour's programming and failing at getting things working, I've eventually opted for an option where if a Tiger Tank has to turn, it will halt and turn and then it will start accelerating again. Which is good enough for now, especially for a game that's not going to take itself too seriously in terms of realism and realistic interactions. It looks good enough and it works. Next I'll be working at stopping the tanks travelling at weird angles, for example on their sides, upside down, glitching around on their ends, so that's what I'll be working on next. So the first thing I've done is change these box colliders on the turrets here to being sphere colliders on the turrets so that the physics engine will hopefully make the tanks roll rather than stay upside down. Next I decided to limit the pitch and roll and this will simply mean that the tank can't go too high or too low or roll too far and hopefully this will mean that the tanks stay on their tracks and keep a lot more realistic movement. And here you can see that in action. So I'm trying to change the tank's pitch and roll using the editor to strange angles to try and make the tank do strange behaviour, but the code I've put in place to limit the pitch and roll is stopping anything bad from happening and keeping the tank moving naturally. So that's going to be it for today. This has been my first ever video development log of my game, so bear with me as I get audio working and as development progresses. I think the hardest part is that I've already developed a lot of the game and so I have to introduce people to things that are already done rather than working on them. Um, and in future I will be you know, making more development logs and I will probably be working on things like the tiger tank targeting. You can see here I'm right behind the tank and it's not shooting me yet and the tiger tanks don't have any gun innovation and other minor problems that should hopefully make the gameplay more fun and make it a more interesting game. Thanks for watching. Bye!